<laughs> well, we're going to begin uh, by presenting uh, the Pride of the Peak Award to Senator Richard Colburn first. And I just wanted to take a few minutes uh, to talk about the senator. He's, he's been an incredible friend, a uh, colleague of mine um, as I work in Annapolis, and, and he's just been a champion for the Eastern Shore and for Chesapeake College uh, specifically. He's a graduate of Chesapeake College, the only elected graduate of Chesapeake College, um, class of 1982. That'll soon change at some point in time. I'm trying to make a run at some point, just haven't figured out when. Uh, so, but I'm just gonna read through his biography real quick. Um, Senator Colburn, you've brought honor and prestige to your alma mater, Chesapeake College. Uh, we're pleased to recognize you this evening. Um, as a native of Oxford, uh, you graduated in 1982. That same year, he was elected to the House of Delegates and was elected to the Maryland State Senate in 1995. He currently serves as the chair of the Eastern Shore delegation, um, bringing home the bacon to the Eastern Shore, so thank you so much for that. Uh, and he's also on the powerful Maryland Budget and Tax Committee of the Maryland Senate. And he serves as the town manager of Federalsburg. His life has been devoted to public service and to the constituents of the Eastern Shore. So we're very appreciative for all that you've done in the community and beyond. Um, he's been incredibly active in advocating on behalf of Chesapeake College at the state and federal levels and has done tremendous work on behalf of all the constituents that he represents. So thank you for all you've done. If you would join me on the stage, I'd like to award you with the Pride of the Peak Award for 2013. And if I can have Delegate Hadaway Riccio come join us up here, and Chuck Cook from the Governor's Office, we're going to present citations to him. Well, I want to congratulate the senator um, on this achievement. I think that it was a wonderful pick. Um, as you watched the video and you heard the many interviews that took place, uh, they asked us to sum up the senator in one word. And if you know him, that is really hard to do. Um, but the word that I picked was genuine. And I think that that sums him up the best. Um, there are not enough people in Annapolis that understand the difference between being a politician and a representative. And our senator is one of those people that gets the difference. Um, he has always been in it for the right reasons. He has always been in it to help his district and to help the constituents of his district. And that is one of the things that I value in, in having the great opportunity to work with him and learn from him. Um, he is artful at it, and he is relentless at it, and we are so very fortunate to have him representing us in the Senate. Um, he has given out a ton of these citations and may only have a few himself, but he doesn't have enough, in my opinion, because he does so much. So um, without further ado, on behalf of the Maryland House of Delegates and the Maryland General Assembly, be it hereby known to all that sincerest congratulations are offered to Senator Richard F. Colburn in recognition of being a 2013 Pride of the Peak honoree for your invaluable work with the Chesapeake College community and the prestige brought to Chesapeake College's alma mater by you representing our constituents. It's presented on this 25th day of April by Delegate Eckerd and myself. Thank you. It's, uh, it's tough to follow a delegate, um, but I'm going to try real quick. Uh, I want to say thank you, first of all, on behalf of uh, Governor Martin O'Malley, and uh, thank you, Senator, for everything you've done. Um, state of Maryland, this is a proclamation from the Governor of the State of Maryland, a tribute to Senator Richard F. Colburn, dated April 5th, 2013. Whereas Senator Richard F. Colburn has served the Eastern Shore and great state of Maryland faithfully and diligently during his 30 years of public service in the House of Delegates and Maryland State Senate, and whereas Senator Colburn has been a steadfast supporter of Chesapeake College as a devoted alumnus and advocate, and whereas Senator Colburn has remained committed to promoting education and the expansion of higher learning, whereas Maryland offers its sincerest congratulations to Senator Richard F. Colburn on his recognition as the 2013 Chesapeake College and Friends Association Pride of the Peak recipient, 
Now, therefore, I, Martin O'Malley, governor of the state of Maryland, do hereby proclaim April 25th, 2013 as a special day of tribute to Senator Richard F. Colburn in Maryland and do commend this observance to all our citizens. Dated the 25th day of April, 2013. Well, thank you, uh, Chesapeake College. Uh, uh, thanks to Governor O'Malley. Uh, uh, we, we, we certainly have different uh, political views, but uh, Governor O'Malley and I have worked together. And to be frank with you, we're friends. Uh, uh, it's the, actually the fifth governor that I've served uh, with, and uh, uh, we probably have a stronger friendship than any of the other governors. And I know you may find that hard to believe. I don't think there's any press. Well, there is. I just saw a, a reporter back here. I probably, but it's true. So um, as you know, I'm frank. I have a dry sense of humor. Uh, it's, it's good to thank you, Delegate uh, Hathaway Riccio, a, a, a really close friend. Her father and my father were both watermen, so we're, uh, her, her father and my father are part of a dying breed. Uh, it's good to see uh, of Delegate uh, Wheeler Baker here. It's good to see so many people from across the shore. Uh, we, we have a, a, a great representation naturally from Queen Anne's County and uh, quite a few here, people here from Talbot County. I don't want to leave. I know there's counties. But uh, I do have some special friends from Somerset County. I think that's you know several hours to get here. Dick and Irene Carey and Joe Howard here at this table, and all the way in the back, uh, uh, Howard and Catherine Cross. And that's a long, long trip. So we applaud them for taking such a long trip to support Chesapeake College. Uh, I thank you for, for being here. Uh, and I just made a few notes. I, I know, and I know I'm going to get in trouble for naming some names and not naming others. And I can name each and every one of you. I saw Ed Baker, he and I were neighbors when I uh, first started taking courses here. Uh, uh, he, he was actually one of my, one of my teachers. Uh, is Graham Lee, is he still here? So Graham, if you, I think you should stand up. Yeah. It's the first time I've ever seen him, him attending a fundraiser and he wasn't hosting the fundraiser. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, but, uh, but again, um, uh, it's good to see each and every one of you. Uh, D Dr. Uh, Harry Rhodes is certainly, as I think, w the video they said, the Mr. Queen Anne's County. And it's really gratifying uh, to be here with Dr. Rhodes. Uh, uh, without outstanding people like Dr. Rhodes, none of us would be here tonight. And that's, you know, people say that all the time. But in Dr. Rhodes' case, it's true. We, we wouldn't be here. The college wouldn't be here because he's one of the founding fathers and he worked hard to establish this school. Uh, tireless efforts to lay the foundation and, and, and saw, saw to it to the success and he still works today on behalf of Chesapeake College and it's an honor for me to, to be honored the same night uh, to Dr. Harry Rhodes and I, I really uh, don't think I really deserve that privilege but uh, uh, I, it's certainly I'm proud to be honored the same night that uh, you honor Dr. Rhodes. Uh, they told me to speak for about uh, 25 minutes uh, uh, one, one, one person said uh, five minutes, two minutes, three minutes. I'll try to keep it under five. Uh, uh, we were at a breakfast today, and uh, in the Senate, they would have called it a filibuster. Uh, you wouldn't believe it, but some of the delegates went on and on about what happened in the last session. The, uh, today, today is the birthday of Marconi. He invented the radio, and I'll tell you a little different version of the story. Uh, that, uh, that Delegate Hathaway Riccio uh, told you. Uh, I was at, at a grocery store in the House of Delegates back in the 80s, uh, before most of you were probably born, and uh, I was checking a lady out, and she said, uh, I heard you on the radio. I, I heard you on the radio. And, you know, like, uh, like Jeannie Hathaway Riccio, Wheeler Baker, or uh, uh, Cuomo, or uh, Governor O'Malley, or any other politician. Finally, I want to know how, how I sounded on the radio. And um, she, she hesitated, and I said, well, how did, how did I sound on the radio? And she said, uh, well, I'll tell you one thing, Colburn. Uh, uh, I wasn't really concerned about how you sounded, but you look a heck of a lot better on the radio than you do here in real life. Uh, so uh, uh, again, uh, it's good to be here in real life. Uh, I, I love Chesapeake College. Uh, I can remember Margaret Myers talking about what the, it was just a, a couple buildings in the middle of a cornfield. It was brought out in Dr. Rhodes' uh, video. 
uh, it's certainly come a long way and uh, it continues to, to, to get bigger and better under the do leadership of, of Dr. Vinier. And uh, we're lucky to have her here as present. Uh, I'm delighted to be here. Uh, the company of some proud students, uh, uh, faculty, alumni, and supporters of the uh, Chesapeake College. Uh, it's certainly very near and dear to me. As, as I've said, the uh, Pride of the Peak uh, annual event raises money for worthy students. Uh, to actually be a recipient is something that I've never imagined. It's a gratitude I can't really express. Uh, I, I'm, I'm honored to be the subject of your generous attention and uh, want to specifically extend my sincere thanks to everyone who participated in the video. Uh, their thoughtful words uh, helped to make this a memorable event. Uh, one I certainly won't forget, uh, even my mother uh, talking about beer. Uh, I, I, I didn't get to screen that. Uh, but um, many of you know I'm a baseball fan. I think that was already brought out. Uh, I uh, uh, root for the uh, just just a few teams, uh, usually the Orioles and whoever's playing the Yankees. And uh, Dory Hayes is the, the skipjacks. So Dory and I grew up together in Oxford. It's good to see Dory here. Uh, Yogi Bear, in his best-selling book, said, said uh, if you see, and, and this is this is true. I don't know if you remember, he had a best-selling book. If you see a fork in the road, take it. And um, uh, it was also that old Hall of Fame catcher that uh, said at a special night in the uh, uh, in the Yankee Stadium, uh, for which he was being honored, uh, he responded uh, to the crowd by saying, I, and I quote, "I want to thank everybody who made this night necessary." And uh, Dr. Rhodes and I thank everybody that made this night necessary. Uh, we, we know that this night is necessary because this night helps so many uh, students and their futures. That's what this is about. And uh, uh, it, it, it's really not about Dr. Rhodes or, or Rich Colburn. It's about the students, our future, and we're helping them tonight. My years at Chesapeake College were some of the proudest years of my life, and they enabled me to, to uh, achieve my uh, life's far-reaching ambitions, getting elected to the Maryland General Assembly. And, you know, growing up as a waterman's uh, son and uh, uh, being a grocery clerk, a career in politics sometimes seemed uh, like a, an impossible ambition that, that I would never reach. In fact, the first time I ran, I lost uh, by 313 votes in uh, 1978. I remember that more than any victory. Uh, but it was uh, while attending Chesapeake College, returning to Chesapeake College, actually, the direction I wanted to head and life began to really, really take take shape. And the uh, education experience I've received here at Chesapeake College has proven to be invaluable. And I, I actually, here at Chesapeake College, uh, I, I rediscovered my passion for politics and that desire uh, to help other people because as Delegate Hathaway Rishio said, that's what politics is really supposed to be about, helping other people. And uh, I will forever be indebted to this college, to Chesapeake College, for helping me to realize my goals. And uh, it's truly an, an honor for me to, to stand here and accept uh, this award tonight. And I can't, can't thank everybody enough uh, uh, for this award. And uh, I, I will always cherish this night. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Thank you.